Caledonia. So he's lost his match. 19 seconds, 18 seconds. Cox dives in, grabs his left angle again. But I think, you know, that's just to make sure he doesn't get called for stalling. He's just sitting there holding on to it. He's trying to come out the back door. He's already scored his major decision points for the team. And, you know, team-wise, you get down here, you forget to talk about how important it is for the team that you pick up those extra points. Yeah. Cox gets the win, 11-1. Okay. to one. Okay, Kale Croissant's out there now. As he's just about to be taken down over on Matt Forrest. It's... There's a scoreboard for Matt Four. It's saying three to two for uh, his opponent, Brandon Ward, out of uh, Dolores. A croissant's going to have to be careful because Ward's got a leg in. He's trying to get a guillotine on him. So Cox ended up 11 to one? Yep, 11 to one. Picked up the major decision. So croissant's in trouble. The kid's got the legs in. And he's got the guillotine already. He's got his head and his arm. He rolls it through, but he loses the leg. And lucky for Croissant, he's able to bellow, belly down and get out of that terrible position. That's the end of the time there. At the end of the first period, Croissant's down three to two. And that's, that's going to be a battle there. Okay, Trejo, Jesus Trejo of uh, Holyoke's out on Matt one. It's Sean Dale of Cedar Ridge. Seth Dornbacher's knocked off, and Cale Croissant's on his feet now. Down by two, oops. That's gonna be down six to two. Well, that was too easy a takedown that he gave up there uh, to Brandon Ward and Dolores. Yeah, I was right there on the edge of the mat, right where you don't wanna give up those points. He tries to get to his feet. He does get to his feet, but now the Dolores kid ties up his arm and he rides the legs pretty well. He gets that left leg in and he's got croissant belly down. He's trying to reach over there with his left hand and pull the left wrist back onto his back. Cameron, to, oh, excuse me, Cameron Holmes up over on mat three, just on the other side there and he's got locked in a cradle. Somehow got out of it and got an escape. Yeah, those Hotchkiss kids, they cradle from all over the place. The kid had him cross-face cradled. He was hip to hip, and he wasn't going to go, so the kid tried to dive over the top and do it fancy, but good for him to be able to base out. Yes. Colin Cole's over here on mat eight. Oh, okay. And he nearly gets the takedown right there at the edge of the mat. He has a double leg, but they go out of bounds, and he wasn't able to, to, to finish it in, you know, in the boundary area, so they're back up on their feet right there in the middle. Going against... JT Latham out of Grand Valley. Now remember Grand Valley, we've had a lot of experience wrestling those guys. They bring a lot of headlocks and a lot of splatles and a lot of funky moves to the table. So Colin's gonna have to wrestle real sound. Cameron Holmes uh, down by three, six to three to Chris Lovato out of Hotchkiss. And Cale Croissant's in trouble again getting in that guillotine. Cox is in on a single leg, but they're gonna go out of bounds. No, he stepped out right there and it was a beautiful shot. He shot a right-handed single leg. He shot it in the middle. He drove him all the way to the edge of the map, but he just couldn't stop his momentum. Now JT Latham's got a pretty good, got good hips. He was able to get his leg down and away. He was able to slow Cox down and now they're both tied up right there halfway between the middle and the edge of the mat. 0-0, zero, zero, 31 seconds left in the first period. You gotta finish these first periods ahead by, you gotta finish ahead. You gotta be up two to nothing or two to one at this tournament. So Collins really oh, gonna have to wrestle with some urgency. Oh, Cameron Holm come, had his opponent on his back, and he, but he rolled through and he's working from the top here. Down eight to two. Grand Valley goes for a wizard throw and now he's turned up the pace. He's really working his hands fast and and uh, he's, he's really doing a good job of, of getting Colin Cole on his heels. Cole takes a nice shot. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful single leg. And now Latham right away is going for that, that uh, splatel, but Cole did not fall for it. He gets the takedown with two seconds left in the period. He's up two to nothing on the red mat, mat eight, here at the Pepsi Center. Coaches always like that, don't you? Oh, well, if it's your guy getting the takedown. Oh yeah, you hate to give up points there at the end. And that was a beautiful shot by Colin. He took a lot of shots in that period. He's definitely the aggressor, but uh, this JT Latham's shown that he wants to throw. So Latham defers, Colin chooses down, 
The top man loads. Latham loads on the right side. He jumps over to the left side and picks Cole's left ankle. Now Cole's on his feet, and he's trying to kick out of it, but this kid's not letting go of the ankle. He's going to get called for stalling if he doesn't let go of it here pretty quick. He, base, he gets Cole down on the mat, and Cole actually was able to hip him over and get him on his hip laying down next to him, and he almost came out on top but they were right there at the edge and they went out of bounds. So it's still two to nothing, Colin, Colin Cole. And croissants down 10 to four, trying to work off the bottom as clock's down to 47 seconds left in his match. Cameron Holmes uh, match, he's, he's up eight to four over Lovato. So JT Latham's riding Cole on, on Cole's left side. He's got his wrist and his elbow, and Cole's going to have to get hand control, which he does. And he's working back up to his base. He's in great position right now. If he can get to his feet, there he does. Now Latham drops back down to that ankle again, and he's still holding on to that leg. And he's going to have to be careful because that kid's going to get called for stall here pretty quick. Colin Cole works back up to his base. He tripods up, and now he's back on his feet. He reaches back, pulls an ankle under, and he sits down on him, but they go out of bounds. Cameron Holmes just got guillotined over to his back. And now it's a headlock and he's in deep trouble here at 120 on the uh, two-way side. Bottom man set, top man on. Latham loads on the left side. Cole gets to his feet right away and now he's putting a hand in the hip pocket. He's not free yet and Latham's trying to push him out of bounds. Colin goes to a switch. He's getting his hips down and away and Colin's actually in a position if he can pull him back to the middle, he's gonna get a reversal. He doesn't get the reversal. 